know that sometimes when you're driving by a road, you know, next to schools, you have these bumps, speed bumps. So it was once a person that he lived in a village, he never saw bumps for his eyes. So first time he's here in America and he's driving together with his friend and they get, you know, to a bump. He starts laughing. <laughs> he asks, why are you laughing? He says, I don't know, I don't know. The city, the government here is crazy. It's insane. It's, 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 it's unimaginable. Why? Listen, listen, listen. You, have, like, you go to the street and all of a sudden you see two signs from both sides. Bump in thousand feet. You continue and all of a sudden two new signs. Bump ahead. You continue. Now you have two other signs. Bump. Bump, you have from both sides. Now there's the bump. The bump has paint on the floor, a white line of paint. Then you have on the bump itself, three lines of paint, you know, like in a V, in a opposite V. Then after the bump, there's again a line of paint. What is going on with this city? Can you tell me? Isn't this taking taxpaying money and putting it into the garbage? You know how much money you have to spend on these signs? Printing the signs, having people put in the signs and having the paint, painting and always every year to refresh the paint again and again and again. For half of this money, just straight now the bump of Ale Gutjar, no bump and no nothing. When his friend, his partner heard it, he started laughing. He tells him, are you crazy? Do you really think that this bump is a bump that just occurred? This bump is a planned bump. The city has a cheshm why the bump is here. They put this bump here. But the same city that are giving you the bump, they'll give you enough signs and enough support. You should go through the bump without any damage. Rabbi Sai, sometimes we have this hargosha, we have this feeling. Rabbi Nishalayim, why should avoid this Hashem be so hard? Why? Just take away the Yitzhara, just take it away. What's wrong to stand, pick up yourself in the morning and see only Heilige Sachen, go to shul, to see Heilige Sachen, to get your panosa without any internet, any stuff, any nothing, go in the streets to see only holy people. Why? Why did Rabbi Nishalayim have to go in the street on a summer day in Manhattan or in any place and see such stuff? And Hashem tells us these bumps I put it it's pre-planned bumps I have a chasm with these bumps my entire kid I want to tell you one thing your grandfathers and your great grandfathers did not have this decision that you have I didn't trust them can you imagine Hashem trusts us with such decision with such that he did not trust our forefathers with it that means he trusts us we are his army we are the soldiers and he tells us my entire left kind I'm giving you these bumps but you should remember one thing if I'm giving you the bombs I'm giving you the koiches to prevent damage from these bombs I'm giving you the koiches that you should not fall from these bombs I'm giving you enough signs just open your eyes and see how close I am to you and I boys say Givaldiga Eitzer when you're on the street or whenever you have an assoyan and you're looking away don't be a nar be misspelled then for a choyle be misspelled for the hatzloch of your children Every time when a person looks away, when a person closes his eyes and he's not looking at something that he wants to look, for these minutes he's the Tzadik Ador, he has Gewalt Gekoiches, that's Chaparayim. We see such a thing, close the eyes and say a capital to them for a choyle. And you won't believe, you won't believe. Rabbi Yisai, Bonamatim Lashem Adakeichem, we're all Hashem's children, and let's have Kol Tiv Naitim.